The, the crucial difference between reason and its counterfeits is that its reason is self-correcting. Reason is the space in human conversation where you wonder whether you're wrong. You, you wonder whether you're self-deceived. You wonder whether your wishful thinking is causing you not to honestly pay attention to the, the data of your senses or the, the consequences of certain arguments. And in science is, is rightly celebrated as the, the ultimate case of this, where you are trying to prove your colleagues wrong, they're trying to prove you're wrong, and you, you can even win points for proving yourself wrong. And there's just this amazingly uh, self-purifying mode of conversation there, which uh, exists in some forms elsewhere. Again, it's uh, jur journalism and, and the humanities, d disciplines like history. Everyone is in the fact business there. Everyone wants a, a reality-based conversation, and they're using the same tools of reasoning and evidence gathering that scientists use. Um, but um, scientists take it to a, um, uh, as far as human beings have taken it at this point. And when you compare that to what people do in the service of really any religion, you see a completely different rule book invoked. There in religion, you talk about faith. You talk about um, believing things because they're, they were in an ancient book, and the book itself says it's infallible. Uh, you believe things based on rumors of ancient miracles, miracles of a sort that don't happen today but strangely happened just every day thousands of years ago. Um, you believe it because someone had a vision or a dream, or you believe it because you want to believe it. You wouldn't want to live in a universe where these things weren't true, right? Now these, uh, in a religious context, don't strike someone as starkly pathological. Uh, but uh, even religious fundamentalists recognize that this way of thinking is pathological in every other context. If you're trying to get someone to invest in your business, say, and you give them the kinds of rationale that, that religious people tend to, if you, if you implore them to just take everything you say on faith, and in fact, demonize them for their inability to do that, right? It's just if your faith weren't so weak, you would see that you could hand over all your money to me to uh, buy this bridge. Uh, or if you appeal to the fact that they want certain things to be true. I mean, this is just not the style of thinking that, that even a religious fundamentalist would, would sign on for outside of church or outside of the mosque.